Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the Patek Philippe World Time 5231J001. This is the Cloisonne enamel model that was launched in 2019 and discontinued after 2021. And the timepiece is a nice 38.5 millimeters in diameter in yellow gold, so universally wearable, 10.2 millimeters thick. It is 46.7 millimeters from lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it wears quite beautifully. Comfortable, compact, flat enough to fit underneath a sleeve, and elegant. It is the quintessential World Times dress watch, and I should mention that it's suitable for wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. The timepiece is versatile in that its function is almost universally appropriate, as you can keep track of far-flung friends, family, and business associates all at once. The strap, like the watch, is thin but graceful. Large rectangular scale alligator leather with symmetrical large scales, a very expensive cut of alligator. Gloss, medium brown. There's a folded edge, a monotone stitch, and on the bottom calfskin is a brand new Patek Philippe factory strap. And you can see that on both sides. The watch is accompanied by a matching single fold yellow gold deployant clasp with the Calatrava cross on the top of the buckle. It is a snapshot clasp to protect you from dropping your watch while donning or removing. The watch features dramatically stepped lugs. They jut out from the case with immense sculptural form and presence. They don't blend in Calatrava style. These are decidedly strident, striking. They have a presence all their own. The bezel is sharply conical. The case flank is erect and sheer. We have a slight vertical lip to the bezel that's stepped in somewhat from the case band to transition between the too, but also to pair the mass a little bit. That step does a lot of work towards reducing the shear of the case, at least the perceived shear. We have a push down crown, 30 meters water resistant. There is the Patek Calatrava cross on the buckle and the crown. And then the dial. So this is the Louis Cotier World Time System created by the watchmaker of the same name back during the 30s. Patek was an early adopter. You have a counterclockwise rotating 24-hour reference ring, one half silver representing the places where it's currently day, and one half a very dark blue representing the places where it's roughly nighttime. Now you read the hour adjacent to the city, and then you look at the center for the minutes. So there are 24 principal time zones. This gives you 24 reference cities. So I could see it is 6 a.m. in Dubai, just before morning. I can see that it is currently noon, high noon in Sydney. I can see that it is 8 p.m. in the evening in Mexico. And then if I want to change my current city, my current city in, currently is South Georgia. You can see that is more of a location than a city. But you can see I'm in South Georgia now. Now to change my location, I have gone to Dubai. So you can see it's still 6 a.m. in Dubai, but it has made an adjustment so that I have Dubai time at center, and then I still have all my reference cities correctly represented relative to the 24-hour reference ring. But a standard 5230 has that. This is the 5231, which means it's the Cloisonne enamel dial. Now, you can get a 5230 with a relatively short wait, but to buy a watch like this, you need to apply and be approved. They need to be confident that you really want the watch. So this is a little map of the... I guess you could call uh, the Eastern and Western Hemisphere as split by the Atlantic Ocean. So we've got the Middle East, Africa, and Europe, and we've got the Americas. Uh, the enamel or glass-based paint provides all of the color, and it's not just different colors that are used. Different thicknesses of glass-based paint are used to create different shades. It's fired up to 20 times at 800 degrees Celsius, so the the glass-based paint literally remelts into a smooth, shiny surfacing. And then the cloison, or the little wires, the little gold wires, are used to create the images of the land masses. The base on which all of this is executed is solid gold. Now turn it over. You can see caliber 
240L Universel, or the HU, and it is a automatic winder with a micro rotor. The basic movement came out in 1977, and it was designed to be the upscale alternative to center rotor automatics at Patek Philippe. So the base movement's only 2.53 millimeters thick. It energizes a 48-hour power reserve. It has a beat rate of 3 hertz. It has ceramic rotor bearings to improve the efficiency of the winding system. It pivots on 33 joules. It is adjusted to six positions. And when you combine the Patek Philippe seal with the six position adjustment, the anti-magnetic Spiromax silicon hairspring, and the robust and precise Gyromax free sprung balance, uh, you get a watch that is guaranteed from the factory to run no worse than minus three plus two seconds per day. And it is gloriously hand finished with elements like mirrored anglage, probably started manually, but finished, or I should say automatically with a machine and then finished manually using a handheld buffing tool. You have stripes perfectly aligned or Cote de Genève across the bridges. The beveling on the edge of the bridges, the rounded mirrored shine is matched by the polished sinks for each of the jewels. We have engine turning in two different sizes, at least two different sizes on the base plate. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. And then you can see even the locating pegs used to place the bridges on the base plate, like the three here on the balance cock, those have been black polished on their tips. All the wheels, including the base of the rotor, the ratchet wheel atop the barrel, and then the train wheels, they've all been set, nated, or brushed. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.